All right, so this video is going to be just an introduction to solutions. So what is a solution? Well, by now you probably know that a solution is simply a homogeneous mixture. So what is a homogeneous mixture? Well, let's review. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture of two or more different substances that has a uniform composition. So in other words, if I have a solution, suppose I have a big beaker of solution and I poured this solution into two smaller beakers. So we'll call this beaker A and then we'll call this beaker B. If I pour this one solution into two different beakers, then the contents of beaker A should have the same properties and same composition as the contents of beaker B. So that's what a solution basically is. Every part of the solution has a has the same composition. Now, <clears throat> a solution generally has two components, and those components are the solvent and the solute. The solvent of a solution, this is the majority component. And the solute of the solution, this is the minority component. So, in other words, the solvent is the substance that does the dissolving, and the solute is the substance that becomes dissolved. Now, if our solvent happens to be water, H2O, then we call this an aqueous solution. So, because water is so abundant and you know relatively cheap, water is used as <clears throat> what we like to call a universal solvent. Although the term universal solvent just means that water is abundant and that it it behaves as a solvent in many reactions. <clears throat> if there was indeed a universal solvent, then it would dissolve everything. It would just eat through everything. There'd be no way to contain it. You, you wouldn't be able to have a container for it. So there really is no such thing as a, you know, literal universal solvent. But H2O is just a solvent in many, many, many reactions, and it is very, very abundant. So there's uh, aqueous solutions. Now, we need to figure out how to express the amount of solute relative to the solvent. So that's called the concentration of the solution. So there's two general terms when we talk about solution concentration, and one of them is concentrated. So if a solution is concentrated, that means we have a lot of solute. So we have a lot of solute relative to the solvent. If our solution is concentrated. On the other hand, we have the term dilute. And if a solution is dilute, that means we have little solute. A little bit of solute relative to, this, to your solvent. So these two terms are relative to one another, but they're not absolute. And in chemistry, we like to have absolute things. So we need to find a way to quantify the concentration of a solution. And the most common way to quantify the concentration of a solution, there, there are many ways to do it, but the most common way is using molarity. So molarity is the amount of solute you have in moles
divided by the total volume of your solution in liters. So notice that the molarity is not moles of solute over liters of solvent or moles of solute over moles of solvent. It's actually the moles of solute over the liters of the entire solution. So that means if I wanted to prepare a solution, so let's say I have a volumetric flask. If I can get a good pen. I'll just use a blue one. So this is my flask and assume we have an aqueous solution. So that means our solvent is going to be water. <clears throat> so suppose I wanted to make a one molar solution of X. So I want the molarity to be one mole per liter. So I'm going to say a one molar, we use capital M for molar, one molar solution of just any, any compound or element, I'll just call it X. To get a one molar solution, what we need to do is we need to put one mole of our substance into the flask. And then assuming that this is a one liter flask, what we do is we dilute it with water. So, and then we add water to it and dilute it until we reach the mark on the bottle, excuse me, the flask. So notice that we do not fill it up with H2O to one liter and then add the solution, We or excuse me, and then add the substance. We add the substance first and then we dilute the whole solution to one liter. So there you go. That's just a, a simple um, introduction to solutions and in a couple of videos that follow I'm going to go over uh, calculations using molarity as well as solution stoichiometry.